Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another episode of Kosa and Fishing. Doing something different again today. I'm doing this because a few people have requested for me to do it. I'm not sure how exciting this video will be, but you know, whatever you guys ask for me to do, I try to get it done. This has been a little while in coming. So, Sonali, um, Salty Boy, everyone else who requested the video, getting it done now, right? It's a tackle review. Basically, I'm going to show you what tackle I currently have. That includes a breakdown of all the soft plastics, the hard baits, the artificial laws, and the leaders. And then I got into my rod and reel setups that I'm currently using. I did a, one of these videos a long time ago, but I've definitely upgraded, or I'd say I've included, I've added on a lot to my arsenal. Um, one thing I must mention again before I continue is I love buying fishing gear. It's probably the one vice I have. I don't really spend money on anything else, um, probably besides my wife. But um, yeah, I just like to see laws. I love artificial laws. I like to get stuff. A lot of stuff you'll see, I probably haven't even used it as yet. I do plan to use it sometime. But I just enjoy buying artificial beads and getting them and, and I could say collecting them until they're to be used. So you'll see a breakdown of all the soft plastics, a wide range. Then I'll show you the breakdown of the hard beads. Um, this table is basically the soft plastic table. Our next little area over there with the hard beads and other laws. So we'll get straight into it. Uh, one thing though, just make sure to watch to the end of this video to see who won uh, the Kosem Fishing Tea giveaway from the last video. All of the correct answers who guess the number of wolf fish or wabi that we caught. I'm gonna put your names on a, a list and do a random draw for the number and whoever name comes up, you guys win the, the Kosem Fishing Tea. So enjoy the tackle review and then watch to the end to see who wins the fishing tea. I'll try to go through as much details as possible. Um, I'll leave the links, the Amazon links for most of the items in the description below. So if you want to get them for yourself, you can check there, click it, and you, you could you know could check out the item yourself. Um, a lot of this stuff also you can get it locally at Monkey's Tackle Shop. So if there's something specific that you want to find out about, ask me about it in the comments. If you can get it at Monkey's, I'll mention it. If not, I'll tell you how to get it on Amazon. Um, so stay tuned, watch to the end. Thanks for watching. Okay, to start off with the soft plastics, for sure, you know, I must have the DOAs, the DOA cals, electric chicken, glow, bought this color uh, last week or week before. We have a wide selection. I also have the bigger DOA split tails as well. I got these as well by Mankey as well to try out. These are four inch, a little bigger than these, so we want to see how they work out. And also I have the Berkeley Power Beat, which I use as well quite a lot. This is slightly bigger than the cal. It's three and a half inches versus the three inches of the cal. So it's a little variety as well. I have the Berkeley Gulp. I haven't used it much. Um, this is the scented one, but I definitely want to use it some more. I have some random soft plastics, Bassmasters. I have some Z-Man Pop Shads, some more Berkeley Power Beats, different color. I have a couple live targets. The live target mullet. I have not caught a fish on it as yet. I have also the live target Kobe. Check them out. Still to catch a fish on those as well. I have used it a couple times, nothing as yet. I have the DOE Beat Buster as well. So a wide variety of DOE Beats. Now these packs you see in here are like how I use to go fishing. So basically I'll take a couple colors in each of the DOEs and just put them in one of the, the old packs and I, I go with that. And sometimes I just put in some jig heads, etc. And there's about maybe six or seven DOA cows, various colors, and I just throw that in my bag. Then I also have the DOA shrimp. This is the three inch shrimp. I have a variety of colors in here. This is how they come in the pack. Some are pre rigged, some you have to rig for yourself. Um, well, I have a number of used DOAs, swim baits, terrorize, whatever the case is here. Well, the official knife and split ring pliers must have some wire and then we come to the hooks you know i use the owner circle hooks mostly 7 5 i have the 4 here as well these are screw on uh, moom hooks to use for some of the bigger swim beats and these are the jig heads that i use right now owner jig heads some gotcha jig heads we have some worm hooks that we're going to go weedless with um, I also got this by Monkey. Zizi is the man who told me about this. Works fantastic, so you should get some for yourself if you can. Then I have all my leader spools. 
Um, I have the fluorocarbons uh, 20, 30, 12, and I have the mono. This is the one I use most of the time, the trialine. So I have this in uh, 50, 60, 40, 30 pound. That's the basic sizes that I use. So that is it for this table. That's one table down. I'll go through the next one and we'll continue on. So moving across, there's some of the casters that I have. It's definitely not the all the casters that I have. This is like my banking caster, 10 pong, 15 pong test. This is the caster that I caught the small Goliath on. Uh, 100 pong test, big hook and stuff like that. Take a little sneak peek of this. We'll be using this soon. A little portable grill. Then we're moving on to some of these, some life target baits that I have. We have this, this is sardine look-alike. School of bait fish, not a school. Some, this is the spool tech. I have a, a big one, a six inch, and also the four inch over here. Voodoo mullet, of course. And these are all the baits that I've used and out of the package. Shimano wax wing. Of course, the a variety of Yuzuri crystal minnows. Some extra wraps rapalas. A lot of top waters. Catching small snook poppers, inshore poppers. Another rapala then of course we have the bucktails and these are some new laws that i got to fish the surf for pompano hopefully you'll see me using them as soon enough then we go to the back row which is the slightly bigger baits again starting with a rapala then we have the crystal minnows again variety of the crystal minnows and this is one then after we go on from the crystal minnows we go to the what we call the black back or the pro minnows so we buy a couple of those, they got crystal minnow, have the X-Wraps, hardly ever use them, I can see still in the package. Another Shimano wax wing, it's supposed to be a really effective law. Then I have this huge life target sardine here, I hope to be using soon to target something big. A little tsunami popper, then I have these, so these baits, uh, these are the western swim, I've seen these used quite a lot, I can't wait to use them, I catch a fish. Then moving on to this section here, these are the deep dropping chicks. These are the big ones that I have, um, 200 grams, 150, and these monsters here are 300 grams. Hoping to be using these by the rig soon. The size of those hooks, catching some big ambers. Of course, I have a CUDA tube. Then these kits you're seeing here, I kind of organize it a little bit today. This is terminal tackle, hooks and sinkers. It's uh, double sided. So the top is all the hooks on some small sinkers, swivels, stainless steel hooks, alavi, regular hooks, miscellaneous hooks. And the bottom are the sinkers. I have some three or four onks, two onks, some one onks, a couple floats in case of anything, some jig heads and some sabiki rigs, you never know when you could use those. So that's one kit. We'll go across to this other one underneath here first. This one is my inshore surf fishing light tackle kit. So you'll see some small hard plastic baits. We have a small crystal minnow, small mirror law. We have, of course, these spoons. I have a number of spoons in this kit, um, 10 and 15 grams. I have these, again, to try out soon. More spoons under there. Can't leave home without it. I also pack one of these guys in here in case I see something big around. Um, some DOAs, some jig heads, random hook sizes, and some small one-ounce, half-ounce sinkers. So the same time I go into the surf, I just walk with this entire kit. And this next one here, this is my chicken kit, but the lighter stuff. So we have some, some of these here, which you'll be seeing us, seeing us use soon. These are for the tuna by the rigs. A lot of people use these for shore casting as well, or off the rocks and stuff. You can cast very far with these, so I have a variety of them. Check this bad boy out here, same redhead type pattern. This should be killing the tuna by the rigs. Then I have up some other butterfly jigs. 
these are like I think four ounce and five ounce um, some bucktail jigs of course can't leave home without it and some other more bucktails and other smaller jigs to be using right so basically that's a big down of all the tackle uh, the artificial laws and baits that I have you can see it's quite a lot just got these actually hoping to use them very soon these guys I know I'm going to catch in some fish with them as well and well these this collection So next up, I'm gonna go review the rod and reel setups that I currently own, and that'll be it. Okay, to start off with, this is my light tackle inshore, surf fishing, small tap on snook. It's a casking Sharky 4000 size reel, spooled with 10 pound, spooled with 10 pound Berkeley Trilene monofilament. It's on a Bass Pro Graphite Series 7 foot medium action rod. This is basically, you see me use this with rod on, this is probably my favorite rod. I had it for quite a while, I broke the tip, I stood on it, but it's still going strong. Fixed it a couple of times, um, but I use this for mostly light tackle, snook, small tap on, and surf fishing. Next up is the Pen Pursuit 4000 combo. I got this recently. Um, I currently have it spooled at 20 pound braid. That's kind of overkill for this reel, but that's all I had at the time. I just want to use it. So the rod is a pretty good rod, I must say. Uh, you can put up to 10 to 30 pound braid on it. It's a seven foot extra fast action. And the law casting up to one ounce, you can cast with this rod. And we have a 4,000 size pen pursuit tree. Uh, use this again for inshore for slightly bigger top one if I'm targeting top one only. Or if you're going from the boat and I'm going to fish um, maybe beachy or small, small redfish and stuff like that. Um, if it's a running line or a knocker rig, I'll use this one. Currently set up as a running line. I think we were using it for beachy last time. Caught a couple with it. That video didn't post as yet. Next up is my old faithful pen bottle 2 8000. Now it's currently spooled with a 50 pound mono. Again, I spooled it with that because we were going down the islands one day. And that's all I had. I had that line for a long time, so I put it on there. It's been on there since. Um, I hope to change it out soon with some braid. Um, so it's an 8,000 pen battle too. And it's on a rod. Uh, this rod is a very cheap rod. I think I paid 20 US for it, if so much. Uh, it's a seven foot six medium. Again, it's a pretty strong rod. You can throw up the three ounce low. You've seen me using this by the rigs to catch tuna. Um, very flexible. Um, the brand of it, I think it's a Berkeley rod. Again, I think I paid 20 US maximum for this a while ago. It's actually a casting rod, <laughs> but I use it. I have a spinning reel on it and it's going pretty good so far. One thing I must say is I don't really spend that much on uh, rod and reel combos. My most expensive combo will be the last one, which you'll see in a little while. The next one I have is my go-to reel right now, Shimano Nasi 5000. This reel get real licks. I mean, I catch real fish with it. Tuna, kingfish, tarpon, uh, salmon, redfish, anything. This I caught almost everything on this reel already. So it's a Shimano Nasi 5000 size, spooled with 20 pound braid and Iowa J braid. It's on right now a tsunami tough tip seven foot that I got by Monkeys. It's a medium heavy. Um, I had it previously on a ugly stick that broke when we went to the rigs. Snook Master broke it when he tied it up, but um, that ugly stick I think was a better combo for it. It was a little more, uh, I mean, law friendly. But this tsunami tough tip, I said for the price, you can't go wrong. I mean, I'm a budget guy, and I like when I said the combined gears, like rod and reel setups. And this Shimano Nasi performs excellently. And this tough tip can do almost anything. Again, I caught kingfish with this. Um, I think I use it for tuna already. Salmon, nice, decent sized salmon. Uh, Beachin. So, the kind of fishing I do, this combo is pretty good. The last one is the most expensive combo I have. That is my Daiwa BG. 
6500 now i had a choice between the 8000 and 6500 i chose 6500 because the specs between this and the 8 is not much difference but i bought this reel specifically for jigging and also i could use it for bottom pushing if necessary but this thing i think is maybe like 125 us uh, it is my most expensive reel i don't spend much on reels as of now and the rod that is paired with is a tsunami trophy series xxh jigging rod xxh gets rated up to 150 pound test line so this is a nice really nice rod for jigging um, so far i have used it a couple times for jigging and it handled it really well got some i caught a nice um amber jack with it already and those guys pull really hard handle it pretty good it's currently spooled with 65 pound test j braid and i think that could probably handle anything that you needed to handle i use it to catch as well salmon with running line and stuff like that and i can also drop it down to the bottom like if we go down the islands so it's a nice all-round combo i mean specifically specifically bought for jigging but i could use it uh, for multiple things uh, like i said it's my most expensive reel maybe like 125 us i think monkey has them for around 900 or so so it's a great deal by, by Monkey. And this reel is rated or has been ranked by a lot of people as a really good reel for a very good price. So you can check it out as well. So that's my, basically my main setups. Oh, I forgot one bad boy here. That's my ugly stick. Six foot six travel rod. You can read that there six foot six pack rod four piece now if you watch my videos you've seen me use this thing over and over again this is one of the best rods i've ever used to stock a lot of licks it's still going as strong as ever i keep on saying i have to buy another one just in case but this one is still going strong so if you ever have to be traveling anywhere at all get one of these or well, just, ha just have one in general just throw it in your car it doesn't pick up any space whatsoever as a very good rod so that's my full arsenal there guys you could get an overview from the lightest sharky sharky 3 4000 pen pursuit 4000 pen battle 2 8000 shimano nasi 5000 daiwa bg 6500 right so i'll leave the links for all of these in the description if you want to get it for yourself Great rods, great reels. So, alright guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, tried, I'll try to keep it as short as possible. There was a lot to go through. Uh, remember, I'll leave the links for all of the items that I could in the description below. If you need a specific item, make sure and message me in the comments below and tell if you can get it on Monkeys or where else you can get it on Amazon. So, next up, I'm going to do a random draw for the giveaway of the Free Coast MT. So, stay tuned for that. Until the next video, keep watching, keep fishing. For sure. Okay guys, so now we're going to do a random draw to do the Kosem Fishing Tea giveaway. I have a list of names. We've got about close to 70 entries. Um, the correct number of entries, but the entry the correct answer was 47. You can see the list to the left hand side right here. 1 through 47 is numbered. All the way to 47. So now we're just going to go on Google, type in a random raw generator, go to the random result, first one, numbers in a range, pick one number between 1 and 47, and we just click draw now. And number is 35. So let's check on up who's number 35 on the listing. And that's Trini RC Models. So my friend, you have just won a Coast M long sleeve fishing tee. I might throw in like a Coast M fishing so spoon for you as well. So congratulations, bro. You always comment on your videos. So well done. So you can hit me on hit me up on Facebook or Instagram. Or even comment down below. And we can link up for you to get that your correct size and stuff for you to get. So thanks for everyone who entered. Lots more competitions to come. Stay tuned, look out for it.